Chris with Chipper LLC Trades and Equipment here in front of the Rima 37 Pro wood splitter. Um, it's available in three options, and the three options basically are just your engine and pump combination. Um, Kohler, 14 horsepower, 22 GPM. Lifan, 27 horsepower, 28 GPM. Then also the same GPM pump, 28 GPM down here on the Honda and Honda GX630 with 21 horsepower, also 28 GPM. So um, both these are gonna give you the same speed. It's just Honda versus Lifan. Um, Honda's got your dependable liability and cost you a little more. Lifan's a little less. Um, if you're looking to get in to a lower price point. Uh, the good news is if you go with a Lifan, if it fails three or four years down the road, you could always bolt on a Honda. They're pretty much the same. But, all right, so let's go through the common features of all of them. Again, the frame, everything is gonna be pretty much the same. Really excited about this being a low cost, commercial grade splitter that really offers a lot. Um, in both the Lifan and the Honda, you're gonna see a less than six second dry cycle time. Um, with the uh, Kohler, still gonna be about a seven second cycle time thanks to the large orifices, large orifices and hoses on this. That's a lot of where the speed comes from. If you look, the size of these blocks, by opening these orifices up and running the larger hoses, actually lets the pump not work as hard and it's going to um, allow it to cycle a little faster. And we say sub six, it's less than six. Some would call it five, but it's five point something. So we're just saying less than six. So common features, five inch OD cylinder, the manufacturer rates that at 37 tons. 14 inch um, highway tires. So the thing you're gonna get over these versus you know your standard wood splitter, which is kind of the same thing as jet ski tires, is it's not 12 inch rims with little high boy skinny tires. It's a wider high volume tire. That high volume is gonna help you avoid blowouts. It's gonna help with making it a smoother ride because it's not such a um, low volume tire. If you also look underneath here, you're gonna see it sits on torsion axles. So those torsion axles are also gonna help you like with higher highway speed towing versus that, you know, max 45 mile per hour. Um, these are gonna be, you know, more comfortable with freeway speeds, but I would always keep it within reason. Um, they have a removable tongue. Let me show that on this one here. Uh, one bolt and pull the tongue. So that's gonna be great for theft. And also it's good to go ahead and remove that tongue. So it keeps your coupler out of the way for wood. If you see, there's an oil cooler standard on all models. So that's across the line. So that's gonna help with your pump life and you know it's gonna keep your fluid fresh longer. All right, now if you look at this thing, it's pretty well built. And one of the things to address though is steel detail. So we already have a, like a test video out where we actually demoed one of these, really tried to push it pretty hard to see if we could find any fail points. One of the comments on it, somebody was looking saying that it looks very similar to an Easton made, but with thinner steel. And it's actually great they said that because it's a great point to address. So in my opinion, the steel on this is, it's similar to most USA commercial grade splitters. I don't think you're gonna see a failure. Um, now, is Easton made thicker? Yes, but is that better? Yeah, I mean, when you overbuild, you're always going to guarantee that you're not underbuilding. But a lot of overbuilding does is it makes your product heavier. So the splitter that you gotta move around on your wood yard, and it's two or 300 pounds thicker with steel that may be thicker where it doesn't need it. And then um, you also are gonna run the price up. So what the beauty of this is, this is a, it's, I mean, if you come and take a look, well-designed um, splitter um, and it's gonna come in about 40% of the cost of your average USA. It is a China built machine, but not all China is the same. There's reputable builders in China and there's cheap stuff in China, just like there is in the USA. Um, and it's gonna come in about half the price of that Easton made if you take and spec the same. Cause this thing's gonna come with a box wedge, with a tract arm, with a six way and with a four way, all standard, all models. Um, and you know, at half the price and pretty much substantially the same machine, I uh, think that's, for me, that's a, that's a winner. Another thing comparing against the Easton made is Easton made, you're still gonna pay import duties to get it out of Canada into USA if you're a USA buyer. Ours, 
These are imported to the USA by Chipper LLC Traders and Equipment. So we stock them, all three models are stocked. Uh, we're gonna have parts for all three models in stock. Um, shipping is gonna be either local pickup in Canton, Georgia, or we have affordable shipping options you know, to ship these products out um, at a much lower price compared to shipping out of Canada. So you're looking at fully assembled with fluids and everything, you would pay less than $1,200 to ship it East Coast and Central. Um, if you wanted it shipped in a crate, you'd pay less than $600 shipping it East Coast and Central. And I say less than because that's about the max. And then West Coast, we only ship like uh, in a crate because shipping over the Rockies, shipping kind of cost is high probably about $1,500 shipped in the crate. So in the crate shipping is gonna be less, but um, the only expense you're gonna add about $150 in fluids, all right? So let's go through the steel. We talked about, you know, what um, the thoughts are on it, but what are the dimensions? So this is one of the things I love. This push block has got a ton of traction. So a lot of grip, that's fantastic for your wood if your cuts are, a little crooked it's going to help keep stuff from kicking off the push block uh, your 5 8 um, inch thick steel on that push block push blocks connected by seven 3 8 bolts on each side um, you got your standard you know wear plates on your push block um, your i-beam is a 7 inch i-beam it's got 3 8 flanges on it it's also reinforced in the splitter area of the i-beam in addition to being a good heavy i-beam to begin with most of your ancillary um, support is going to be 7 16 steel uh, so just under a half inch and things like your uh, um, your catch pan quarter inch steel your log lift um, eighth inch steel but is eighth inch steel a lot i mean it's a log lift i mean we put eighth inch steel in the floor of a dump trailer that we dump stumps into so is it adequate it's more than adequate um, wedges your main tree on your wedges are going to be one inch across the line so all of them your main tree is one inch and then your ancillary flights whether it's on a box wedge or on a cross or on a six way are all going to be 9 16 steel okay here in front of this 20 horsepower honda unit which is uh from our rentals um division so at chipper lc trades and equipment one of the things we like to do is I want to know if we're selling you um, on the right product or not. So we don't like to push products. We like to educate customers. And to do that, sometimes we've got to educate ourselves. So um, I personally took this one out and said, I'm going to kind of put it through its paces. And we took it to a wood yard and cut some 34 inch white oak rounds, a bunch of like 20 inch rounds. And there's a video out there of that, but I want to real quick um, go through um, the results of that and why it's good to have a dealer that does this kind of thing. Okay, so we found a few things that were shortcomings and we're actually correcting those on our model so that when you buy these, they'll have the corrections applied. So this design is the same kind of setup that Easton Made has set up, which is you have this L-shaped drop leg underneath here. Well, the thing about that is, is if you push when we did those 34 inch wide oak rounds, according to Google, those rounds in, in a log calculator, this round should weigh 586 pounds. Well, if you take 586 pounds, push it out here, plus the weight of the box wedge, plus all this other weight, just barely offset that, it's, you're close to being tippy. So the solution really is we're gonna, for all models that we sell, we're gonna notch in here and weld in Ram brand um, 1500 pound drop legs out here so they're going to be about the same thickness as this but they're going to be moved out here where they don't have to fight the leverage issue the um, the other thing that we found was that i would say is is a weakness and everything pays a price so if this was built out of solid steel it would make it more durable but it would also weigh more for taking it out um, so for the box wedge and how these are done this is this is how they're going to come with this we decided to go ahead as dealer and upgrade the retract arm to a solid rod watch to the end of the video and we'll cover that in detail so a few things we found we found that um, that's going to be corrected 
we found that like when you push through with a box wedge and you have a really big piece, sometimes when it's pulling it back in the chamber, it wants to hang on these tips. So we're gonna remove these tips back about four inches. That'll be done for you um, on any splitters you buy from us. And um, one of the things we also figured out in testing is the nice thing about these splitters is it has positive wedge displacement, meaning that cylinder controls the wedge both up and down. It's not pushing on the bottom of the wedge, pushing it up. It's attached to the wedge, and so it pushes it up. It also is going to keep a crooked piece of wood from making it hit and making the wedge rise up. So you have two different options on it. If you want to run your box wedge in the absolute down position, and you want this to stay engaged, you have to leave that turnbuckle, and it, this is a two minute adjustment, you leave that turnbuckle pushed forward so it will stay engaged. But if you're running four way and six way wedges and you wanna be able to change them quickly, you can do like it's over here. As you can see, the turnbuckle is pulled completely back, okay? So it pulled completely back, it still gives you enough range to push your your six-way splitter up works pretty high. You're, you know, about nine inches above the, the floor. But the nice thing about it is if I run my wedge all the way down, and this is past the point where you'd normally run it. If you run it about right here, it's going to stay engaged. But all the way down, it's disengaged. I can quickly change this wedge. Like I said, if you even bring the wedge up just a little bit, just enough it's gonna be in its normal operating position, that cam is gonna move forward and stay engaged. So it just gives you the option to have it where it'll disengage for changing your four and your six way quickly or leaving it run out so you can keep your box wedge grabbed all the time. Um, in the test video, you'll see me talk about running it on the six way. Um, it's nice you get, these come with all three wedges so you get heavy four-way heavy six-way heavy box wedge are all included the box wedge it's a four-way and the only way for this retractor to work is it's a labor saver so run the box wedge is for somebody who wants to save labor and it's gonna pull your re-splits back in the chamber automatically. You're not going to run it, have to get your re-splits and put it back on it. Um, but if you wanna get the most performance, the six-way star wedge, even though it's splitting six ways, because it has more relief to it than a box wedge, if you look at a box wedge, you'll see the, the flights are almost all in line. So there's not a lot of relief as the pieces go through. But the way the six way is, you've got about a 45 degree angle on each. So as the wood splits, as it goes through, it's free to twist and move a little bit and it makes it easier to go through. So it actually can push more difficult wood through that six way than it can through this four way. The only thing you get with the box wedge is you get like, life is easy. You get it to the splitter and it does the work. So with your log lift, it has a mode to go down the road where you're stowed up and then it's going to fold out for doing that. The reason I'm going to show you that is to show you one of the things that I love about this splitter is that it's a center console. So what that means is I'm running the box wedge. So if I'm running the box wedge, I'm using the side, I can be on the log of the side, I can reach my controls, I don't have to move. So it's the log lift is sort of in your way, you gotta walk around it, but when you're running the box wedge, no problem, the box wedge is pulling your wood back automatically. Now, if you come over to the one that I've got it set up with the six way, the nice thing about the six way is I can run it from either side. They got wood that is easy to pick up, I can come right here and throw it in. If I need the log lift, I can go over there and I can put it on, and compared to some other models where you have a side mill and operator station, 
where it's only, it only works with a box wedge. With a, with a regular splitter is I don't want to do my controls over here and have to walk over here to get my wood and back. That center mounted control is a, is a fantastic feature. As I sit here and talk about all the things that we want to do for you, I'm like, we're going to do it all. So even this retract arm was a really quick and easy fix for this. So all we have to do to give you a heavy duty retract arm, as you see, this is already heavy, is just for whatever reason, and it does make it lighter, is they just use tube here. So when you pick it up, it's not so heavy. But what we're gonna do for you is anyone you get from us is gonna have a one inch solid steel rod inside of this welded capped on the end and an inch and a quarter square solid rod in here. So when you get it, if you want it to be light, you take an angle grinder, you grind your welds off, you can slide your piece of solid rod out and you can have a light duty. You want heavy duty, leave it as we do it. We're gonna send it to you heavy duty. So these are the kind of things that we'll take and do we're not we do sell things from china as well as usa but we do our best to make sure that the stuff that we give you is is the best whether it's usa or whether it's china um, thanks for watching our video and have a great day